Right, we have a brand new announcement this week from Hick Micro. This is the Habrock. So this has been announced this week. It's a new multi-spectral thermal binocular setup. So it's available in two models. The Habrock H H35 and the Habrock HQ35. One's a 384 resolution model, priced at 2199 in the UK. The other is a HQ35 model, which is priced at 2799 and that's the 640 resolution model. Externally, both models are the same. Button functions, features, LRF, IR, all the same. Both models, bar one is 384, one is 640. So we'll have a look what you get with this device to start with so packaged in the box you do get uh, an extra strap so that's an extra strap that will go around these two lugs on the side of the device and allow you to put an extra strap and mount it around your neck you do get the usual instruction manuals quick start guide you get a usb-c connector now that will allow you to connect with the usb port underside and what that does you can transfer data, videos, photos direct to your own laptop or whatever device you've got. Or you can charge the cells within the unit or you can power it externally if you need to. You have a quad core charger. This shows you a digital readout display. It's a good charger system that charges four 18650 cells. Included with the device, you get four 18650 branded cells. So two of these are in the unit and you get two spare. You also get a tripod mount adapter. Now this allows you to just mount the device because the way it's fitted here, this is slightly recessed within the body of the unit itself. So this allows you to raise that, you mount it to a tripod if you're gonna be the type of person who's gonna use it for a prolonged period of time and the one at mounting in a stationary position. Alternatively, you could actually fit some type of weaver rail on there and use your own external IR illuminator to give you more range on your night vision. So that is the accessories. Let's get to the nitty gritty and we'll discuss the actual product itself, which is what most people want to see. So, looking at that design, much more compact over the Raptor. A lot better design for me, I would say. It's like a metallic design finish. It's got rubberized inserts either side that fit nice in the hand, nice and grippy. The buttons fall to hand really well. So ergonomically, much better design for me, definitely. The 18650 cells, two of them streamlined into the body itself, so they're not protruding anywhere, and they sit nice within there. Quite easy to remove and fit, so basically clip that out. You've got both 18650 cells, one in there, one in there. Once you put the catch back down, you block that, and then it's locked in place, right? Both cells. Remember, you've got two for backup if you need to. Now, the unit is provided with two rubber lens caps. Now, these pop through into there and they just leave them in place. I personally just remove them because any flaps that flap around they do sort of get in my way. So I just, I'd rather remove them than they're not there. And I look after the device anyway because it would be getting put in a pouch and it would be protected that way. So what improvements have been made over the likes of the Raptor? Well, there's a few. Along with the much smaller form factor, you now have an um, adjustable focus. Optical channel, the Raptor had a fixed optical channel. Big improvement. The Raptor had a fixed IR system, so you couldn't actually adjust from spot to flood. You now can adjust from spot to flood on the Habrock, so it's another improvement. 35 millimeter, 640 resolution. For me, people might think a 50 mil focal length is the way forward but not with a 12 micron pixel pitch sensor because what you gain in one hand you lose in the other by going to a 50 mil what happens is you lose your field of view if you're doing a lot of things under 50 yards picking up trying to track stuff trying to find things it becomes for myself and others a bit of a hindrance so the 35 millimeter with a 640 12 micron is a perfect combination rather than jumping to a 50 mil that just complements field of view and detection range because you're still retaining the 1800 meter detection range with this system. So all independently focusable. Great. You've got all that range of adjustment. Then we spin it underside and we also have 
a sender receiver LRF system hidden beneath the IR. Nice and compact, out the way, sleek. So that gives us the ability to range find as well. So it's got everything you would need. The sensor in the day side optical channel is a 1440 resolution sensor, night and day, and it's a 2K sensor. Really good image quality, really good low light ability. So we're gonna talk about some of the other features within the device. I'll finish off externally what I think about the unit. So you've got two diopter adjustments there, independently adjustable, and for inter-pupil distance, you can adjust them back and forward to suit your own needs. Like I say, we've covered the 18650 battery cells, tripod, USB mounting adapter, you've got the USB-C connector port there, um, binocular harness straps, Buttons are really good, they're now shaped so they fall nice to hand and that's basically the ergonomics. I'll get a weight for you and I'll add it in the comments. It doesn't really weigh that much and it, it really does fit, uh, feel nice and fit ergonomically nice in the hand. So let's go and cover some of the features. Um, within the menu and the new graphic user interface sort of things that have been improved on other models. So. Hick have now released a thing called Image Pro and Zoom Pro. Image Pro sort of en en enhances edge detail if you use that and turn it on within the menu. You've got Zoom Pro, which will sort of smooth out an image when you're using digital zoom to help prevent pixelation. Both improvements moving forward, Hick seem to be making more enhancements in the menu systems and in the features and performance of the units. You now have which you probably would have seen from the Alpex model, a thing called Smart IR. So that has three intensity levels, one, two, three, and Smart IR. So you can manually adjust the infrared for close range or long range, as well as a spot to focus adjustment. A good feature that may be overlooked in the likes of the Raptor, and it has been carried out and implemented in the Habrock, is the recorded footage playback. So if you record any footage with this device, you can basically watch it back through in the device itself. So that allows you to say, for instance, using this in a hunting application, you take a shot, you miss, something runs on, you need to track it. If you're out with a friend, you can say, right, I'll play it back, we'll see where it went. And you can actually see in live, real time, where or where you shot or where that animal went to. Obviously, you can connect to the Hick site and do it, but this is, in the heat of the moment, it's a bit of a quicker me method, and it is a nice feature. So that record playback is within this unit. You've also got something that's been carried over from the, the Raptor series, which is the GPS function. So some people might not use that, but it does give you the ability to give a GPS location of, for example, again, you might have an animal, you might be tracking something, you might be monitoring something, you need a GPS location, your phone isn't working correctly, You've got that GPS function in there, which is handy, as well as there's a compass feature. Um, the new graphic user interface does have some feature enhancements. So you've now got a sharpness adjustment, and there's a range of adjustments and controls in there. I mean, for example, one is the adjustment for the LRF system. So you can have that to where uh, there's a continuous mode, and you can have that set for 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 45, 60 seconds. I've got it personally set to 15 seconds. So instead of, you know, mucking around when you want to range find something, all you do, single press of that button, it scans continually. You don't have to try and hold steady. It's scanning continually, and then it'll turn off. 15 seconds is more than ample enough to scan on, on anything. You don't want to waste battery life by scanning too long, but it's easier than having a pinpoint scan function and then having to activate it manually. It just does it straight away. It also has an auto power off function. So when the auto power off function, how that works is it basically, when it's in a different orientation, the device, it will turn off the eye displays. So as we know, two benefits of that is you don't want that glare from the eye pieces lighting you up on a night if you're doing anything that you're trying to keep covert about. And when you come to use it, it's instantly back on. Really nice feature, and I've seen that similar feature is now implemented in the Condor range. Another little menu feature that's handy in there is the custom palette. So for myself, I use white hot, black hot optical channel. When I press this far right button, top right button, one single press will go to white, another press will go to black, another press now goes to the optical channel, and then all the way through, it keeps cycling amongst them channels. There is a fusion channel, 
and there's another channel i can't remember off the top of my head but what that menu function does it allows you to go in and disable them menu functions for the palettes so they're not cycling through if you don't need them hence white hot black or optical for me that's the best choice so yeah that's basically a brief look at the habrock there's a there's a multitude of different menu functions in the system itself um button wise i'll go over that quickly while we're here and we're still discussing on a video so power on single press will power off uh, this is for your record image capture video capture long press this is for i can't see actually in this light that is for your rangefinder so that activates your rangefinder function this will activate your um your color palette cycle through them cycle through your uh, optical channel and if you hold that in you'll go through if anyone's familiar with the raptor you get like there's a dusk and there's a daylight and different options for your optical channel so sometimes you keep you retain your low light color mode or you can have it so activates and in, it activates in black and white and it changes your infrared for you um, this center button here a single press will activate a quick menu system so it gives you your most usable settings which is brightness contrast etc and they're just there there's about four functions go down to the bottom of that menu feature and you have an enhanced menu so advanced menu you go in and you can, in, you can go right deep into all the different menu functions of the, de the device itself here you have your zoom function so that'll zoom in on your optical channel and your um, thermal channel that's about it in a nutshell for the Habrock. I think it's a really good product. It's a nice compact design. It's got everything you want. Like I say, focus adjustment on both sides. IR focus adjustment. LRF works spot on. Nice, great rubber grips. Feels nice in the hand. It's not overly weighty at all. It's just, I think this is the way forward. I mean, if you look at what else is on the market... There's a multitude of different thermals at the minute. There's products from Infrared, there's products from Guide, there's products from Pulsar, Hikmicro, just on and on and on. It seems to be going, you know, it's just on a runaway. There's there's that much out there. But this is one of the nicer ones I've seen. It's got all that functionality in it, and it's in a nice, small, compact form factor. Um, and the price point with Hikmicro stuff is really, really aggressive. You know, it's it's... It's, uh, you get a lot for your money, in a sense. So that is the Habrock, just announced this week, will be available, as I'm told, in the UK end of this month, which is November 2023. If anyone is interested in the product or anyone wants to uh, know more details about the product, feel free to just get in touch, send us a message, drop a message, contact us via phone, anything. Happy to discuss the product and the features. We do have these coming, like I say, end of the month. You can pre-order them online once they're uploaded and all the details are on there, but keep a look. I'll put a, post a link on this uh, on this video in the comments. And if anyone wants to comment on the products as well, directly on this video, feel, for, feel free to just go ahead. So that's the Habrock, and that is the HQ35L 640 resolution model.